Hello again, fourth graders. Today for your devotion, I just want to share a few thoughts about your memory verse for this week, and that is John chapter 16, verse 33. And it says, I have said these things to you that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. And Jesus says these words to his disciples as but right before they are about to he is about to be betrayed. So he's um, when he's about to go and pray at um, the Garden of Gethsemane, when he's, um, this is right after he's washed the disciples' feet and says that one of them is going to betray him. But he was still teaching them and he was still encouraging them. And so I just want to read you kind of the verses that are right before that um, from John chapter 16, starting at verse 25. I have said these things to you in figures of speech. The hour is coming when I will no longer speak to you in figures of speech, but will tell you plainly about the Father. In that day you will ask in my name, and I do not say to you that I will ask the Father on your behalf. For the Father himself loves you, because you have loved me and have believed that I came from God. I came from the Father and have come into the world, and now I am leaving the world and going to the Father. His disciples said, Ah, now you are speaking plainly and not using figurative speech. Now we know that you know all things and do not need anyone to question you. This is why we believe that you came from God. Jesus answered them, Do you now believe? Behold, the hour is coming, indeed it has come, when you will be scattered, each of you to his own home, and will leave me alone. Yet I am not alone, for the Father is with me. I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. So just that encouragement today, um, especially in this time when he says there's going to be a time when we're going to be scattered each to our to your own home. And he's talking about the disciples being kind of scared after he Jesus died and they didn't know what was going to happen next. Right. And right now we're kind of in a time where we don't know what's going to happen next. But Jesus still promises us the same thing he told his disciples is that in this world, we're going to have tribulation. We're going to have trouble. We're going to have problems, but Jesus has overcome this world and we should trust him and his plan that he already has in place for us. So let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for a time that we can um, focus on you and just take some time to really dive into your word. Help us to do that, Lord, on a regular basis and help us to trust your plan that you already have set in place for us. God, help us have an awesome day and we thank you for the wonderful creation you have made. In your name we pray. Amen.